into the channel um, I'm gonna take you guys with me today as I show you guys uh, my current struggle boat homeschooling routine um, like most our schools have been canceled or not canceled but we're doing like an online curriculum and so I feel like my life is already crazy enough and now I'm having to add homeschool on top of that. And so that's been quite the challenge and something I've been trying to work through and figure out. So anyway, I just got finished working. I work in the mornings um, for a company called VIP Kid. And so um, that's why I'm dressed and already made up because I had to do that for work. And right now my boys are getting up and they're doing their morning routines, which include making their bed, coming and brushing their teeth and um, being sure to clean up their sinks and then we will go downstairs and get started with breakfast. It's not coming out. You guys, I just gave you all that toothpaste last week. How are y'all out of toothpaste already? So here you see my boys doing some activities while I'm trying to get breakfast ready for everyone. One of my good friends who also makes YouTube videos, her name is Sarah McGlory and she did an awesome video about how to help our kids through this coronavirus thing especially with schooling from home and she recommended that kids start their day with activity and just getting their wiggles out so they can focus on their work so that's what i have my kids doing here um, while i'm waiting for the breakfast to warm up you guys saw that i unloaded the dishwasher which i try to do every morning and here i'm just getting the oatmeal out for my kids so that it has an opportunity to cool down in just a moment, you'll see that my husband will bring the babies out and he's gonna help me watch the babies while I start my morning chores. He has to report to work like in the next few minutes, but any little pocket of time that I can use to stay caught up on my cleaning routines, I'll be using it, girl, I'll be using it. So I'm about to go through my morning routine now. The first thing is to bump it up, make the bed. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do a fly lady routine. And my morning routine takes me about 15 minutes and it's just a good way to set my home up to be clutter free and peaceful throughout the day. So the next thing is to complete a room rescue. As you can see, I've already started. So basically my room rescue is not really that big of a deal because, because I just did this last night. So this is literally the stuff that has migrated into my room since I cleaned up last night. So not a biggie, not a biggie. So now I need to rescue my bathroom. Once again, I did this last night, but this is just what happens to it every morning and throughout the day. We pull things out and now this is my time to put things away. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get in here. These two rooms have been room rescued. So we will move on into the living room. I usually don't do too much in here because these are all toys and things that my kids will be pulling down later in the day. So things that I'm checking for include like computers, books, stuff that maybe I brought out during the night that I don't want the kids to play with. So me and my daughter are in a battle over my bookshelf and right now she is winning because I have given up on picking these up multiple, multiple times a day. So that is a mess that I'm not gonna sweat because I'm not going to sweat. This is about having peace and calm in my life. And so that's just going to stay there for the time being. But I will take a moment to look at what's on the desk. See if there's anything that just be thrown away. That looks like it's for my husband. So I'll kind of put that to the side for a few days. See if he'll come back and get it. Put away these pants and pictures. Come on, push this chair in. It's good enough. All right, oh, there's another piece sheets of paper here, so put that away. Usually I wouldn't be walking around this leisurely. This is like something I would do in a hustle because I'd be trying to get my morning routine done in like 15 minutes. But since I'm talking to you guys, I'm taking my time. Okay, part of my morning routine is to grab a load of laundry. So you guys, staying on top of a load of laundry, I don't know what the big fuss was for me and why I resisted doing it for so long um 
it's a game changer. Like I feel like I'd be struggling to look for laundry to wash because I do it every single day, even on the weekends. And I think throwing the load of laundry is not the hard part. It's folding the laundry, putting it away. So what I've been doing to help me be consistent with that is I have been, um, I've been putting laundry like at the very top of my routine. So before I can cook dinner, before I can do any type of evening cleaning, any type of evening routines, laundry first, fold that laundry. How long does it take to fold one load, one small load of laundry? Probably like five minutes. So I'm like, y'all gonna be all right. So doing that first has really helped me. And now that I've experienced having like my laundry under control for like two weeks, maybe three weeks, like I just can't go back. And so sometimes it's just finding out a way to force yourself to do your new routine long enough for it to become a habit. Cause it takes 21 days for something to become a habit. And then after your 21 days, you're gonna be so addicted to those results that it's really a challenge to go back to doing things how you used to. So I have my boys' laundry. I'm gonna go put it into the washing machine right now. I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. So during this part, everyone's just kind of finishing up for bre from breakfast. So I'm just taking a moment to put those dishes in the dishwasher so that they don't have a chance to build up. And here I'm just pulling out some meat for dinner. This is just a checklist that I created to help me just remember to do my morning routines and so I just checked off that I got everything done so now I'm looking for my weekly home blessing task for those of you that are new to fly lady a weekly home blessing is uh, an hour of extra cleaning that we do on Mondays and it just consists of doing like 10 minutes of vacuuming 10 minutes of mopping 10 minutes of polishing horizontal surfaces 10 minutes of um, dusting did I say horizontal surfaces horizontal surfaces, taking out trash, stuff like that. And I was having a hard time doing all of my weekly home blessing tasks in one day. So I broke it up and I just do one task, one of those tasks, Monday through Friday. And by the end of the week, my weekly home blessing is done. But like I said, I just do a little bit every day. And so this day I had to polish some vertical surfaces so that's what you see me doing here is just going around the house looking for any mirror any window anything that i can shine and i set a limit of 10 minutes and whatever i don't get to this week i'll just get through it get to it next week and i know it seems like you know something like polishing these windows don't seem like a big deal worth pulling 10 minutes out of our morning to do but for me it just makes such a huge difference in my mood when i don't see fingerprints and stuff all over the windows and all over the mirrors. I don't see, you know, spit from people brushing their teeth. And so it's not a huge time investment, but it really does help me feel a little bit better. And here I am just keeping track so I know what needs to get done. So we're all ready to go chore-wise, routine-wise. We got all of our morning cleaning done. So right now I'm just gonna take a few minutes to help the babies finish up their breakfast, drink their milk, and then we will go over our school schedule. One thing that I've had to get better about is making sure that I eat breakfast, especially a breakfast that's not gonna make me feel super tired. And so I've been gravitating towards smoothies because they're a little on the healthier side and they're really fast to make and they just give me energy to get through a crazy day. So this is the fun part, trying to teach my children and also entertain my twins. And so um, I really have been trying to cut back on the amount of TV everyone's watching, but like I'm having to rely on like Baby Shark and stuff to keep them distracted long enough for me to be able to explain like stuff to my kids. So, um, it's, it's, it's a little frozen, it's a little frozen, it's not coming out. But, um, so I have Baby Shark going. I'm gonna get ready to release the girls from our chairs so that they can start playing. And Lord help us all. Okay, so now it's homeschool time. We got the girls, they're watching Baby Shark. So I can hear and I will be turning around obviously a lot. 
So what I started doing, based off of my friend, Sarah, um, if you guys haven't followed her YouTube channel, make sure to check her out. I'll leave her information in the description. But she said pretty much kids really thrive when they know what's coming, what to expect. So I've been writing out a little schedule. Our schedules are not super rigid here because I have to be flexible with the babies. But just giving my kids a list of things that we're going to be working on during the day. So they can visibly see it. I was facing all the sunlight while our feet swung freely from the bridge, the bridge. You asked if I'd save you. Here, my boys are just gathering some items from nature for an art project that they have to complete. All right, so we're checking in. It's 10 o'clock. Woo, y'all! It's been a very long morning. Um, so we're just getting through the little activities that they have. And just this morning alone, I had like a super meltdown from my babies, um, one of my boys. Um, I had a baby pretty much pull out an entire bag of wipes. And y'all know during this coronavirus shortage, uh, you cannot take okay. wipes and stuff like that for granted. Um, and a baby who is just getting into everything, pulling everything apart. We still have a couple more assignments and experiments that we need to do. And my goal is for us to be done before lunchtime. We had to unexpectedly leave the house because um, basically they're trying to get stuff out of the school. And my son has medicine up there and so they called us and it was like, basically you need to come get it or it has to be destroyed. And yeah, um, like EpiPens and stuff like that are quite expensive. So I was like, no ma'am. So we stopped everything that we were doing and we went up there to go get it. And it took a lot more time than I was expecting. On the way back, we went to Target um, because I just needed some candy and some coffee creamer, girl. Okay, I need some coffee. Like, we ran out of coffee creamer and I'm just kind of like not energized today. Everybody's really hungry. Usually we're done with homework by this time, all of our work for the day. We're not done. I'm thirsty. Okay, so my goal right now is to just get food on the table and get everybody calm. So typically in terms of chores, what I would do this at this time is I have my son swapping out the laundry in the laundry room typically we start a load of dishes in the morning so they would be un they would be ready to unload so i've just set it as a new routine that boom at lunchtime we unload it what i'm gonna do as i'm waiting for food to heat up and as i'm feeding the kids is i'm gonna do a midday reset so basically just walking through the house and checking like hot spots again i'm um, doing room rescues and just putting back clutter that i know that we won't need because it seems like with everybody being home, like clutter and stuff like that gets out of control like a lot faster than normal. And trying to put away everything that we've used throughout the entire day just at night is kind of overwhelming. So I'm gonna just take a moment to like put stuff away. And if I sound like I'm like, I don't have a lot of energy, it's because I don't. I'm like really tired. I'm gonna make myself a pot of coffee, a pot of coffee, a cup of coffee, and then just do a little midday reset, and then we'll dive back into some homework. So this midday reset is something that I had to start in order to address the extra activity in my home throughout the day. Um, it just takes 15 minutes, and pretty much I'm just going back and doing room rescues and touching up hot spots again. I'll also be making sure that the dishes make it into the dishwasher and you know you guys probably could tell that I just work really well when I just do small bursts of 15 minutes of cleaning here 15 minutes of cleaning there and so this is just one I had to add in my day and it's made such a huge difference in helping me um, not have to battle my home at the end of the night once all the kids are in bed and so I'm just making my coffee here and 
Just taking a moment to recover from a crazy morning. Later it comes later, dear. from the kids nobody's allowed to talk to me for 10 minutes <laughs> my husband he gets a lunch break um, and so is he doesn't have a very long break so I get to lay here for like 20 minutes and just kind of like do the best I can to let this coffee kick in and to prep for the second half of my day <sighs> I only have like 10 minutes left. I don't even feel like. Have you guys ever taken like a nap that was really short and it actually felt like it made your life worse? I don't want to take that kind of nap, so. But I'm very tempted right now to just close my eyes and go to sleep. But I'm so nervous that my husband's gonna be like, I gotta go. They're calling me. And then I'm gonna wake up and have you. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you're just so confused when you wake up. Like, what? Where am I? Who am I? Like, I don't want to do that. But uh, at this point, I'm always just like, is it worth it? I'm so tired. I think I might do it. So usually toward the second half of the day, since the girls are pretty much on their own all morning, I try to spend some extra time playing with them and bonding with them and just getting everybody outside and getting some fresh air. And so we usually do this and then once we go back inside, it will be time for our evening routines. And so yeah, so this is how I'm coping with, you know, the coronavirus quarantine and just being home with the kids all day and doing homeschooling. I've just really been relying on my fly lady routines to help keep the house in order and I feel like that's making such a huge difference in just making the home feel more peaceful. And it's also helping me not feel overwhelmed in the homemaking department. I do feel overwhelmed with just my energy levels and trying to um, make sure that my kids are on track with their schooling. But um, having routines and habits has really proven to be really helpful for me to manage everything at this time. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that this vlog is helpful. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to talk about the routines, just leave me a comment down below. And you can also reach me on Instagram where I talk to people in the DMs all the time. So I will see you guys in next week's video.